Uh, well, one San Diegan um, has decided to go on 28 first dates, and Jen Duchet is in studio today to tell us about one of her last dates that she was just on. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm excited to hear about the date. Cause it, last, went, it was a good one. Last week yeah. we had you on. Uh, you had quite the good date. It was pretty good. Yeah. You know, it was a good date. I wouldn't say it was my best, but okay. it wasn't the worst. All right. I'm, I'm yeah. still hoping for a really, really, really bad too. one. Oh, a bad one? Yeah, just because I think it would make great TV. Yeah, I mean, I haven't, I haven't met any really big weirdos yet, so That's too bad. I'm trying to screen them That's out. Too bad. So <laughs> That's true. You screen them <laughs> out. All right, you let's go on. Uh, so, who is the guy that you just recently went on a date with? Um, Jose. Okay, Jose. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, just a few sound bites from your date, <laughs> and uh, let's say hello to Jose. Yeah. Once you put, the, you, once you you put the date, once you put the date, um, uh, once you label the the night as a date, then uh, you, either the guy or the girl or both, so they smart. they like, oh, this is serious. Mm -hmm. And once you start putting serious into it, like, yeah, I'm actually seeing him, and then you have to put labels on it. And yeah. my God, it, nowadays everybody's so afraid of labels. Cute guy. Yeah, he was super cute. He right. had his little sweater and right. he wore some really nice smelling cologne and did his hair. I just thought he was I like really when a guy sweet. gets ready for yeah. a date. I, I don't sure like a guy who yeah, slacks yeah. off and, and just came, comes from the gym is like still sweating. It's like, right. mm, okay, that's not attractive. Yeah. All right, I want to get, because the next uh, clip that we have, he talks about courting. And uh, that's interesting because this is kind of what you're talking about. He's courting you mm -hmm. and he's talking about courting. So let's go ahead and take a look. Courting a girl, I think, is pretty close to being dead because. And this is from some, and this is from someone that actually saw it in his youth. Now, now that I actually did it, I saw my 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 cousins and my uncles actually do it in Mexico, where they used to go to the big plaza and like there was a roundabout, and like guys used to sit on the roundabout and the girls used to go around and if they drop the handkerchief. That man, they were interested, and they, my uncle, my cousin picked it up, and they went around, and they went out for like months, and yeah. eventually got married. You know, like this. I love that idea, and mm. why did it die? I mean, how I great! Know. I mean, I feel like our generation, we just play games back and forth yeah. with each other. Does he like me? Does he? Yeah, is he texting me? What yeah. does that text mean? Yeah. Uh, instead, just throw a handkerchief in front of me. Let mm. me know if you want me or not. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, and that's kind of how his family. Well, we were saying how like traditions have kind of died out a little bit, and it's not so much like dating anymore. It's right. you're hanging out with someone, you're, you know, just going over to watch a movie right. or going out to grab dinner. It's not like so serious. Right. Anymore. It's not like he picks you yeah. up and opens the door. And I love yeah. that stuff. Yeah. I know. It's like you're spoiled. Let's when bring it, it back, guys. I know. <laughs> let's bring it's it back. All right. I like Jose so far. All right. Let's yeah. talk. Uh, you guys went to Indigo Grill. Mm -hmm. I love, love, love their food. So good. Uh, and yeah. you guys had an experience, I guess, with a chili. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. take a look. Got spicy. I kind of want to try it. <laughs> Go for it. Will you try a bite if I try I'll, a bite? I'll try it a bite first and I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. Try a little bite. <laughs> Wash it down. Good luck with that. Spicy. <laughs> I told you. And that's why. But you know, uh, not terrible. Um, well, there's videos of me trying out uh, habanero chilies on YouTube. Is that one of the like hottest ones? Uh, that's uh, for us the Latinos. That's the hottest pepper. Mm. How was it? How was that chili? <laughs> That wasn't too bad. I can handle the heat a little bit. <laughs> Look at her. That's spicy. I can handle yeah. that heat. No problem. Not that bad. <laughs> I know. Oh. Uh, okay, so you guys eat it into good grill mm -hmm. and as. The date starts to wind down. How'd you feel about it? You know, he is a really nice guy. You could tell he was genuine and he just had manners and was respectable. He even walked me back to my car to make me, you know, make sure I got back safe and okay. said good night. And um, he teaches salsa downtown, so I'd love to meet up again and maybe take a salsa class. Yeah. I, 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 
don't know if there was quite a strong romantic connection for me. Um, but you are you the type of person that knows that right away? Because I feel like back in, back in the day when I was dating, uh, I feel like it was just instant. Like there's mm -hmm. a romantic connection right away. Because you know. I think you can kind of tell within like the first 10, yeah, 15 like minutes I of want meeting your body. someone, and then right. you begin to gradually <laughs> get to know somebody. Let's well, be honest here, though, right, girls? I mean, that, I think it's with men too. You know? I think you're. I think you need some sort of that spark. Yeah. That, those butterflies. Lust. Yeah. I mean, I. You know, I think personality takes it a long way too. Right. But um, I'm kind of looking for that like excitement when I, I first get meet someone. Well, yeah, you want something spicy. Yeah. Um, okay, so no romantic connection, but it sounds like it could be possibly a friendship. So let's go mm -hmm. ahead and take a look at what Jose had to say. Actually, I think the date is going very well. Uh, she's a very nice girl. Um, for the time that I actually had to mentally prepare for this date, is actually going going very, pretty well. Uh, she's a very nice person uh, for what I can see and hear in her stories and her backstory. She doesn't really value herself that much uh, to the point where, um, you know what, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, you're, you're uh, a short, you're a woman. Overall, I would like to see her again. And I'll probably take her out this uh, this Wednesday to Sevilla for some salsa dancing. Okay, thank you. He, you're gonna break this guy's heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, I think we both had a really good time. Um, I don't know how he really felt about romantically, but yeah. um, you know we at least could be good friends, and I could get some salsa lessons out of it. So you're gonna use and abuse Jose, is what it sounds like, Jen. Oh, but it's mutual. It'll <laughs> be mutual ben user. mutually beneficial. All right, good. Well, I'm glad that your yeah. date went well. It was Thank a good you. date. Maybe yes. not a, a huge spark in the date, but a friend nevertheless. Yeah. And uh, next week we're going to have Jen on. She'll be with us every Thursday morning. Um, so make sure that you check that out. Uh, it's going to be right here on the front page at 745 and 945. And for an inside look at her dating experience, make sure that you tune in. Uh, Jen, we appreciate you coming in because that is cannot be easy one it's never <laughs> easy going on a first date because it's more of an interview than it is an actual date yeah and uh, it can't be easy with cameras right. in your face especially if you're not used to cameras yeah right? they try to make it pretty subtle so you get a little comfortable i was gonna ask you how is it like right here in your face or is it, it no kind of they have them like back? set up yeah a couple tables back one way and then one's over here okay. so and you just have a little mic on you there's no like big boom in your face right. or lights or and you preface you kinda, the dates with hey by the way have you ever had someone turn you down so like I don't want to be oh yeah camera. there's oh, okay. a lot of guys that aren't interested in doing the TV dates so okay well you know I don't you know I think it's just for fun and right. we can just go have a good time and yeah. enjoy some good food but it's not for everyone and indigo grill was mm. amazing. It was so good. We didn't get past appetizers. I don't blame you. It's so good. And you said yeah. the chef actually brought the food. Yeah, out. Deborah like, Scott came out with thing. one of presented the tamale plate and talked about the ingredients. And, Love it. Oh, it's delicious. Love it. So. Love it. All right, yeah. Jen. Thanks so much. All right, stay with us, you guys. We have so much more coming back on the front page.